What is going on guys today's video we're going to be doing our five in one bedroom setup tour for 2022 now if you don't know what this means it means there's five plus setups in here that i have in such a small room i have a 12 foot by 11 foot room this is just to give inspiration to people that have small rooms out there you can do anything in just a small area so i'm going to be showing you everything i have in my room so for one of our first setups we have our bed obviously where we sleep for our second setup we have our youtube videos content creation setup so we obviously are able to make videos there. We have our entertainment slash partying station. We listen to music as well as watch TV there. Just lounge and chill. We have our editing station here. So we just chill vibes there. As you can see, we edit our videos there. We also have our gaming station in the same section, which is really cool. And we game there as well. So those are all mainly the setups we have for our first setup, which is our bed. We have stuff under there, which has multiple kits for other types of setup, which you have to stay to for the end. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. So first what I have here, sorry for the reverb, is the outside of my door. Now when I'm recording live streamer, I can just easily turn on my recording light so I know when you're live and recording. Red is for recording, obviously. And opening my door, you have my setup. Last time I did a setup video was obviously in 2021. If you have want to see a comparison between last year and this year highly recommend that i also did many reviews of many different things you'll see that i'm talking about so i'd recommend just going on my channel if you want a full review of that we'll just get to the boring stuff first so in the corner here we have just a ton of old acoustic foam panels that don't really do anything but sit there i mean i guess right now they're doing some reverb check for the corner and then we have our sound curtain this is probably around an under 100 dollar project but it's yeah it's a sound curtain yeah that's really helpful really good for sound absorption over here by my light switch we have those recording lights so one is to turn them on the recording lights outside that i showed you two is to turn it off three is to turn on these lights right here and then four is to turn those lights off right here we have our eufy i set an alarm for about sometimes 5 a.m so it cleans up before i wake up i have a nice clean area i highly recommend this but this specific one since it's a cheap model i only recommend in smaller houses basically why i'm using it in my smaller room because if you were to try to clean your whole house with this thing it would fail you and it would get annoying so yeah this is a good budget 200 dollars option let's move on to my entertainment here i will be getting like shelves on the top so i could put some funko pops and just other collectibles on top but for right now i'll just have to wait we have the life bars on the side which are really amazing they look really good they also sync to music which is also my music station as well i have a 4k 43 inch tv here which looks beautiful um, the only thing I hate about this is that the uh, wall mount, it tilts at an angle, as you can see. I don't know if you can see. It tilts at an angle like that, kind of. So I have to push it back sometimes. It's pretty annoying, but that's the only downside. Going from left to right on my desk, we have our Logitech speakers. I don't remember the model name. I'll put the model name up, but these are very reliable speakers. I had them for 10 plus years. They are super, super good. They're starting to barely die off, but I'm still going to keep them until they die fully. Super amazing sounding speakers. Right here, we have our Nintendo Switch dock it's not with us right now but when we want to game on our tv as well right there we have c2b5 star wars figurine right here we have our orby mesh router so this is the second satellite uh right here just some boring stuff we have our main lights we turn on and off uh google pixel 3a i don't really use it all that much anymore right here we have our warby parker glasses case i will be getting glasses soon so i'll probably you'll probably see me in glasses a lot more often i'm actually pretty excited for some reason that i'm getting glasses so yeah that's that we have hand sanitizer i usually use this a lot it's almost empty i always use it because I just, I just like using it uh those are my two funko pops the uh, recent ones i got got finn the human and mandalorian star wars both presents all right so yeah we got the kuzu headphone hanger arc 100s these have uh outlets as well and then the other side of my speaker on the back we have rgbic pro so obviously you can do a ton of different lighting and they also have sync to music as well so that's the view of it as you can see in the point of view i, I was chilling i was big chilling and then i also have these lights in the back just normal rgbic let's get into the bottom stuff here all right so under here see but right here we have our jewelry just a ring and a chain our ring says my last name yuli we got some chapstick here some floss tissues since it was winter and i have like crazy um runny noses in winter yeah you got to use tissues in the back of the tissues i don't usually put the tissues here but in the back of them i have personal stuff and then right there in the middle just our little cologne collection we have a ton of clones there. We have our more hand sanitizers, ton of gum. We got a ton of candles now. My sister got me into candles, so 
I have a ton now. We have our deodorant and our body spray. And then in the back, I don't know if you can see that, we have our power bank. Oh, and this right here, this is a, this is a lighter that looks like a matchstick. <laughs> it's really cool. My sister got this for me for Christmas. I use it pretty much all the time since I like candles now. Why do I like candles now? I have no idea. I mean, it makes my room smell good. It's, uh, it's a stress reliever. On our second shelf here, we have just some of our keyboards, our crack and bread keyboard, silver speed switches, really amazing keyboard, as well as our, uh, Dyra DK63? No, SK Long SK61 with yellow switches, very amazing. Uh, we have some Xbox controllers here, our modded LED Xbox controller here. Oh, I thought there was batteries. All right, I'll put a B-roll in that. We got a Nintendo Switch Lite, which if you don't use, it's collecting dust, I'm probably gonna sell it. And then right there, we have our three recent games that we just got. And then right here, we have our gaming station. We have our custom controller right here on the left with our controller stand there, Symbol Monkey. So this is fully modded out. We have our Control Freaks O-rings. We have trigger stops, paddles, Bionic Quick Shot Grip, as well as Quick Fire, obviously, Quick Fire Mod. Very cool controller, it looks dope. I love that controller, super comfortable as well. We have our Under the Christmas Tree candle. I got this obviously on sale and it, sound, it smells good. I have a lot of candles now, I know that. We have our blue light glasses. I don't really use them, but I, when I do use them, I use them for editing and gaming. I have my keyboard. So this is the K-Move Snow Fox Bluetooth wireless keyboard. It has a huge battery, 3000 milliamps, retails for about 70 bucks. Uh, really amazing switches. I think I have brown switches on here, but they're, they do have silver speed switches. Oh, I haven't been using the kickstands the whole time. There we go. So you have that and I use this for editing. I use my Kraken Red for gaming since they have silver speed switches. And then this is my mouse pad. I do have more variations available. I have three different setups with three different mouse pads, a few different keyboards and only two mice. This is my favorite mouse right now, Rokat K202. I will be getting another one because this one doesn't have Bluetooth function without the dongle. You have to use the dongle, which is kind of weird. Little cushions here, wrist rests. And then right here, which recently replaced our Blue Yeti is our Five Fine Ample Game. This is an amazing microphone. It comes with a built-in pop filter, shock mount, and it sounds amazing. It also uses USB Type-C, which is obviously new. So you have that, it's amazing. I replaced my Blue Yeti with this and it's under 50 bucks, which is insane. This is my favorite microphone of the year so far. I have our webcam here, which is on just a, a generic tripod. Uh, it's not the best quality at all. I think it's like 720p or 1080p, something like that, but it, it gets the job done. I, I don't do streaming all the time, so. And then obviously right here, I have my Xbox Series X, as well as my Mac Mini on top. I think the top is a 30 inch monitor and then the bottom is a 200 Hertz 31 inch monitor, 32 inch monitor, something like that, maybe a 30 inch, but it's high refresh rate, which I do use for gaming, obviously, since the Xbox Series X is capable of doing high refresh rate, obviously not 200 so it's a little overkill but and then right here we do have a plant as well as my speakers pebble speakers to the right of that we have our two controllers which this one actually doesn't work so that's that we have our one controller which actually controls our xbox series x fan right there to the right of that we have our our yoi cup holder it did break recently but i'm not paying more money for another one so i just put it like that it still works underneath our gaming station and editing station we have our xbox series x mounted and then right here we have our batteries for our controllers usb hub with with an sd card slot yeah there's six usb ports i believe on here our mac mini very slim you can't even see it that much it's very hidden mounted underneath our desk as well it does it's a powerful beast i use it mainly for final cut pro as well as davinci resolve since they're both on one system so i just just keep it on here instead of getting a different PC. Uh, to the right of that, we have our two headphones. We have our wireless headset from Xbox and then our Tautronics ANC Sound Surge 65, 55, something like that. I use these for editing. Behind that, we have our Amazon device right there. I'm not gonna say the name. Terabyte of storage right there. Terabyte of storage right there. So yeah, that's that, a little boring. Right here, we have our smart plug. We can turn it on and off using our Amazon or Google Assistant. I used to have it connected to my Christmas tree as well as occasionally my heater. And I used to use that, both of those, just in cycle basically. One at a time, obviously, because they both can't be powered like that. But I used to have both of those on all the time when it was winter, but now that winter is basically over, it's I just have it hooked up to my custom neon sign, which helps with branding, so it looks amazing. Super clean. I got that for le like less than a hundred bucks, basically. It's 
very inexpensive, very amazing. Uh, if you want to see that video, I highly recommend it. And then to top it off, we have our pillow. Flipped it over since it's not Christmas anymore and I actually do like it for my backrest. Uh, we have our GT Racing gaming chair. Black and red. It has our little footrest for another person chilling. If they wanted to, you can watch TV right on this as well. It does recline. And then in the back, it does have some speakers, but they're a gimmick. Sound kind of garbage. Only thing is it's very, very squeaky. And then the padding is a little dead right now. Anyways, let's go to the next station. Right here, we have our custom custom made acoustic panel. I have six other panels being made right now at home. I'll be making a video on making custom acoustic panels for under hundred bucks as well as soundproofing room in general, but amazing. Works like a charm. As you can see, it's very well diffused. Not well diffused. Well, you know what I mean? It's just good. And then right here we have our Spider-Man poster. If you watch this movie, it's amazing. Let me know if you did, or if you're a Marvel fan. I love Marvel fans. We have our Ottoman here, which I use as a footrest. I put it right there sometimes, or like a coffee table, technically. I put just food, drinks, and stuff on that sometimes. It also has storage, so I can store just random stuff. I have my VR in there, I have tape measure, some blankets. I usually store towels, gym equipment, and some other stuff in here. On the right side, I have basically an extra blanket and my uh, gym sweater. I really love this. I didn't think it was is gonna be good. We have a trash can here, obviously to clean up our area. So yeah, we got that. Actually this, these bags, I think there's 60 in here. This lasted over a year and it was like 20 bucks. I don't know how expensive trash bags are, but this lasted over a year. It's still, I think it still has one more pack of 20. It's just insane on how long this lasted. I'm definitely getting it again. Even though this is a small trash can, it does fill up very fast. That still lasts a very long time. I'm very surprised. And then we have our two extra USB uh, newer lights here. We use them on the go or when our power goes out sometimes, so we can use that. This, we have our fan and some other random crap. Oh, I do have my electric screwdriver on hand, so I can use that for anything I need to do disassembling on or repairing or something like that. I could do that. I have our mini fridge here with a little calendar. I need to update this right now. All right, so yeah, our mini fridge, we have some caffeine, obviously. So just some G game fuel, not G fuel, sorry. As well as our coffee, which I forgot I had in here. Uh, I just dropped it. Got water and then have an energy drink in the back of this, which this, I don't know about you guys, this this brand from Target doesn't taste that good, to be honest. I wanted to try it. I tried out, I think, blueberry. Usually everything blueberry is pretty good, but it was just too sweet. It didn't taste that good. It had a bitter taste at the end as well. Recently, I got this paper shredder. It cuts cardboard sometimes, depending on the thickness. Cuts cardboard paper up to eight sheets and 20 pounds of paper in general for max load really really amazing i use this all the time for cutting up important documents and other stuff like that very very useful and then for the main attraction we have our electric standing desk here we have two modes that we have preset so one is the sitting position which is at 28 inches and the standing position which is at 39 inches, which is roughly around f almost four feet, I believe. And then, yeah, we have our newer lights here. These are two-tone lights, so you have up to 5,600 Kelvin, I believe. These are amazing lights, though. They're about 200 bucks. They get the job. Look how bright these are, just one of them. So I have two lights for canceling out shadows from either end, and then I have a top light for any shadows that I get when it's a, when I raise something above the camera that's not in it, in frame with these two lights. So yeah, this all works really well. I put my camera right there and then I can record. It's really, really simple. And if I ever needed to, I can use this remote here and I could change the brightness, the color temperature and everything else like that really simply with a click of a button. So I can use that as well. I don't really use it, but I can use it as well. It's a wireless system, so it's super, super helpful. So we have our batteries right here. Camera batteries for a Sony ZV-1, which is what we're shooting on right now. We have our ultimate vlogging setup. Right now I am using the light. If you can see the mirror, I'm using the light right there. But I usually have the light on this side, our microphone right there, a little dongle. And then this is the Osmo Mobile 4 gimbal with some counterweight balances since the iPhone 13 Pro is very heavy. I use that as well. I usually use it as a secondary camera and I use the mirror as a viewfinder. Right here is where we put our products that we need to do reviews on. So I'm I'm doing working on a video for the Aquara setup for these light strips, some earbuds, and this new light bar. So you'll see reviews on those pretty soon. To the right, to the right, we do have our two unboxing knives. We have our custom-made unboxing knife here. 
And then right here we have our main unboxing knife, which we use for basically everything. This is our slice unboxing knife, ceramic blade, so you won't cut yourself at all with this, unless you obviously try. If you try to put a lot of pressure in, you will cut yourself, and I cut myself once with this. All right, and then right here we do have our MagSafe power bank from Anchor. I still need to do a review on this, but this is an amazing power bank if you do have an iPhone 12 or 13 and up. So if I get my phone here, snap it, and it's really, you can't really, it's just, it's in there. I highly recommend that. MagSafe is just definitely a game changer for sure. Highly recommend this power. And this is my 13 Pro with a MagSafe case. I usually put it on my, I usually don't put it on that stand, but I do use something else and I don't see that. I do have a separate MagSafe for bedtime charging. I have my, where's my AirPods? I didn't even realize I'm missing my AirPods. We have our shower earbuds here. I use these in the shower, back bay earbuds. Right here we have our Apple Watch Series 7 with a black band. I recently got a pack of bands, so three in one stand as well. This, stuff is, this does have a light, which I, it's not turning on, but here, I'll show you. Let me just put some power into it. There we go. So yeah, you can see it. That's that. And I do have a microfiber cloth off to the side. So if I need to clean a device or whatever while I'm recording, I don't have to go find one. It's just off to the side. That's where I make videos. It's roughly around 30 to 40 inches, somewhere around there. I don't remember the desk size, but it doesn't take up too much room. Super amazing. Now off to the final bit, which has a ton of extra setups in here. This is our bed. I was gonna keep this in the video, but we have a, uh, Jake, the dog from Adventure Time, obviously. You gotta add some personalization. I was gonna take it out, but it needs some personalization. On our bed, we have two pillows. We have a body pillow, which I use as a main pillow to go across. And then sometimes I'll occasionally use this memory foam pillow, which is really amazing. It has a silk, so it's really, really nice. And then right here we have our TV remote. And then right here we have our ESR MagSafe. So this is where I mainly charge my phone. The bedside has a kickstand as well. So if I need to watch YouTube or anything at night, I don't have to hold my phone. I could just keep it off like that. But if I ever needed to go wired and charge at 20 plus watts, I can use a wired connection and charge my phone really quick if I'm like on the go or something. So yeah, that's that. I do have two blankets. I have a red and white one, fluffy one. I didn't think that this blanket would be this good, but it's just really soft, really good. It's really warm as well. And it's just, it's amazing. For 10 to 15 bucks, that's so insane. All right, so at the bottom, we have our laptop here. We have our little portable station. So if I need to do stuff, work on the go, we have our portable station here. So we have our next extra mouse, a laptop stand, a few mouse pads in there. Off to the left, we do have a shoe cleaning kit right here. In the back of that, we do have a projector, but we have our projector here as well as a projector screen. Since we do have an extra theater position in our room, and I'll show you probably in B-roll. And then right here, we have extra cleaning stuff. So we have duster and then just a ton of stuff in the back. I don't remember what else exactly I have in the back. We have some shoes here. So we have um, BB4 shocks, some um, 12s, mids, 13s, uh, and then two other ones. I don't remember where those ones are. I haven't worn them in a while, so. And then off to the right, main, a lot of other kits. All right, so right here I have my haircut kit. It's portable. And I could cut my hair basically anywhere with another mirror. I don't cut my hair in my room, but I could if I wanted to. It would be a really big challenge, but we have a vacuum to clean up all the hair, portable, electric shaver. We got some powder, trimmer. Clipper, Babylon throw, got a neck brush, scissors, guards in there. I have all the chargers on top as well for all these since they're all wireless. I have a brush here as well. I have some clipper lubricant as well. Uh, I have some shears in here, but I don't know where they are. But yeah, I have all the stuff you need to be able to do your hair in just this small little package. I take this little package here, I cut my hair. It's really, really simple. Uh, right here we have our point of view. So this is how I did the point of view shot. I used an old mobile rig that you can get for probably like five bucks or something like that. Something really cheap. In the back of that, we have another kit or actually we have multiple kits. So we have our cable management in here. We have our switch lubing station. So we can lube some switches. I have an extra pair of ANC head headphones. I use, I use backups in this box as well. I have a Fire TV stick for a backup for a hotel. And then this is our extra microphone camera case for travel. We have some extra pudding keycap. I have a keyboard cleaning kit. That's pretty much it in here. We yeah, have a ton of stuff in here, just mainly backups for stuff. These are my beaters. Go outside, go to the park, do anything. These are my beaters right here. I can only do this with these shoes. They don't really fit a whole lot. These are size like 
These are size like eight or something. They're really, really small. They're pretty tight as well. So I can't wear them for too long because it hurts my feet. I got my foldable bin just for clothes, I guess. I don't know the word, laundry bin. Yeah, let me get some water real quick. If you notice, my energy kind of just drained halfway through the video and I just, wow, my voice hurts. I don't do, I don't do long videos like this. It's crazy. Anyways, look at that. You see that? And it's like, it goes really far out and you can put a lot of clothes in here. I don't know where I got this. My family got it, but yeah, I do a lot of washing and this helps so much since it's just foldable. I have my gym equipment here so I can work out either in my room. I have dumbbells in here as well. I do have another gym in my separate house, I guess you could say. I don't know. I would just have a gym at home which I can also work out over there. But if I ever needed to, I have dumbbells in here. I can work out in here. Simple workouts when I'm just not feeling it. Like not to go outside, I'm just lazy, but I need to work out, work out in here. I also have some ankle weights so I can do ankle weight stuff in here, like joggy. All right, in the back, I have some a cotton candy maker, Nerf guns right there, Nerf bullets right there, some AF1s that I didn't even know were in here. I got some AF1s, I guess. And then uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty messy down there. Nothing compared to my closet, but like, so I have a few more kits, probably like three, four kits down here. I have a gym area, haircut cleaning area, as well as a lubing station and backups. So yeah, I'm telling you, you guys can do so much in just a little area. You can have your own gym just with a simple pair of dumbbells. That's that. You can save a ton of money with by cutting your hair as well. I spent probably 400 on my hair cut cleaning stuff on there. So it paid itself off. And then not to mention that haircuts are expensive. You pay 20, 20 to 30 bucks per haircut. I cut my hair once a week. So what is that? 20 bucks a week, 20 times four, 80 bucks a month. 80 times, what's 80 times 12? 80 times 12 is 960. Okay, I thought I could do quick math, but I forgot. It's 960 like you've heard her say. So it's $960 per year that you can save just with a $400 kit. Uh, it doesn't even have to be a $400 kit. It could be like a hundred, 200 buck budget kit. It depends on how you get good at it, but you can cut your hair whenever you want. You don't have to schedule an appointment. You don't have to do anything like that. You cut it at home. Just set a simple hour to two hours and to cut your hair and you save so much money. And then right here, I do have my popcorn machine since I do love popcorn. I have just a ton of stuff here. So this is technically another station. I have a little kit here as well. But yeah, on top, just have a popcorn bucket with my uh, oil slash salt cup as well as my uh, kernel cup. I haven't cleaned this in a while because it's, it just gets messy really quick. It does a really good job. I love this thing. So on the bottom, I have some uh, flavoring. I have some little, I don't know, holders, popcorn holders. I don't know the word, but you know what I, you know what this is. Just little packets so you can hold it. Garlic Parmesan, white cheddar, nacho cheddar, and then butter. And then I have right here some cool... <laughs> Right here, I have some coconut oil to help it taste really good. And then I have some salt, flavicle. I have another coconut oil in the back. So yeah, that's how to make really good tasting popcorn. It tastes very similar to movie theater popcorn as well. And then right here, I have kernels, 20 pound kernels, I think. Yeah, everything here will last three plus years or longer, actually. I think the kernels expire in 2025. So basically until then, when it expires, but it can last years for sure. If you love popcorn as much as I do, or just love anything that you want to make a lot, instead of buying microwave popcorn, that's amateur, <laughs> get this. It tastes way better. It's healthier. You know exactly what you're putting in there and it's fun. It's very, very fun. But yeah, that's our room tour for 2022. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If I missed anything, I very do apologize, but 11 feet this way, 12 feet this way. And you can see how much I have put into this. If you have a very small room, you're very much capable of doing many, many things and just a small tight area i've recently moved stuff and got switched desks and stuff like that and it feels a lot bigger like i could actually walk in my room before i was barely able to walk i was only having this small section it was very very painful so just like that one inspirational quote i heard from one of my teachers i have to look it up hold up it's a theodore roosevelt quote here and it's basically do what you can with what you have where you are so do what you can with what you have where you are basically this exact setup i did what i can what i have and i it just played out. Now I have tons of working experience within my little small area, just everything in here. I have a little theater, partying station in my room, gaming, streaming, editing station right there. I have a filming station right there. Bed, living room, couch, slash, hair cutting, gym, shoe, portable, portable working station there as well, popcorn station as well, movie theater station as well right here. So if I want a big screen, I can play games, do watch TV, anything like that. Sound current, it's all fully soundproof basically. I'm gonna do this 
acoustic foam panels in the soon, but amazing setup. Probably the best I could get right now. I don't know how I'm gonna improve from here. Probably just little things here and there. Amazing, amazing setup. This is a huge, huge accomplishment. I love YouTube for doing this. Like YouTube changed my life for sure. I just love making content, but, but the fact that I was able to get like a bonus just for making content, it's crazy. I love getting views on YouTube. I mean, the money helps pay bills. The money helps put food on my table, made this possible. The views and engagement is what I really, really like. Just a comment brightens up my day. It really does. Comment anything. If you want to say hi, how are your, how's your day, anything. It just brightens up my day for sure. Probably not going to do a giveaway in this video because I don't know what to give away, but I do have other giveaways in other videos. So if you want to see my building station of this one, of that one, I have two, video I have two videos on that, doing giveaways on that. Check out the rest of my channel for sure. If you're new around here, subscribe. It only takes five seconds to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.